crazy and I'm just now getting the GoPro. It is dirty, so let me clean it off. Um, but anyway, just now getting to the GoPro because we've been wide open since we got here. We're parked back here a little bit different than where we normally are because when we got here, um, obviously they let everybody in early. Um, so, limp parking was a little bit limited. So we parked over here, which is fine. Um, so we are still in a good spot and we're not super far from where they go on to the racetrack. But we got here, the generator pull cord broke, and then we are we posted on Facebook. We set up this weekend to sell merchandise. Um, so Brad's mom is up in the grandstand selling merchandise. So if you guys want any merchandise this weekend, be sure to go see her. She'll be there tonight and tomorrow night. I know you're not going to see this video till tomorrow. So if you're coming Saturday night, go see her. She'll be up there all weekend. Um, but anyway, we've already got the car turned around and on the lift and everything's rolling we got the air conditioner on it's not super hot out here but it's just enough to where you feel like you need it. just a little something so anyway Moo's already ready to roll you, you hungry in the head obviously with that haircut he's got going on he's got a whole lot out. says it's to embarrass his kids so oh no no you ain't you've had that same haircut since 1970. so just get the handlebars all right guys so this is talladega short track talladega it's welcome talladega that's a good sign maybe it'll be a really good racetrack a really good surface later and uh won't rubber up and be one lane dominant by the time we go out looks well, good so far we'll see how it holds on the rest of the night
stuff. I'm gonna stay in the trailer for just a second because it's a little bit warmer in here. But um, I apologize for the language in that video. I was pretty pissed off because um, it definitely, definitely looked intentional. Um, the guy came over, he sparked right next to us and told Brad he apologized. He didn't mean to, he just got the gas too early. And Brad told him it felt intentional and he told him it wasn't and then he apologized so they shook hands, everything's good. Um, but I was pissed. May have said some things that I probably shouldn't have said, but it's all good. It's all good. It, in the heat of the moment, you say things. And uh, when your driver, husband, gets spun out um, intentional looking, it doesn't make you happy. But anyway, that's the that's story. It's all finished now. Uh, we did end up finishing second in that race. It looked like it's pretty locked down on the bottom already, and we're in heat races. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so. Yeah. That's going to be the story of our night, probably. It's going to be locked down on the bottom and boring ass racing the rest of the night. Just like it has been the last several weeks. Um, we've only got two two or three more. But that was why do y'all keep coming here? Yeah, yeah. Somebody said, why do y'all keep coming there? Why do you? Well, because it's 45 minutes from the house and any other racetrack from the house is like an hour and a half, two hours. Um, and right now we're just hobby racing. We're not racing for anything. We just do it when we want to do it. When we don't want to do it, we don't do it. Um, and right now, we're in the hunt for the points. Honestly, if it weren't for the points, we probably wouldn't be here this weekend. I know for 110% fact we would not be here this weekend if it weren't for points because we hate NASCAR weekend because NASCAR weekend always brings out the idiots. Um, so we don't like racing NASCAR weekend. But when you're, in, when you're running for points, that's just how it works. Um, like I said, Joel made it all for Was talking about that comment. Somebody was like, why do y'all race there so much if you hate it? Because our home track and it's, it's local. You, but talking about the way they do things, they do things here, it's no different than any other racetrack. Um, every racetrack has its flaws. We can go to any racetrack any given night and you're going to have complaints because you don't like the way something's run. And <clears throat> I don't think Adam is doing a, he's not doing a bad job. He's doing, he's doing a good job. Um, but it's there's things that are frustrating <coughs> as a team um, and we are very very vocal people we let people know when we're not happy especially when you're on a platform like this um, you're kind of we, we tell you guys a lot maybe we shouldn't say so much and we should be just positive and everything's great every week but it's not like that this is this is real this is how racing is it's a struggle mentally physically all the above but anyway we won't go on that rant what's wrong christopher brand new wheel cover done killed it they don't know how to judge when to get back in the gas huh? Brad, oh what'd he do what'd he do <laughs> when did he do it oh okay we'll turn the camera off i need to figure out what brad done but anyway so this is, we got, he got the corner panel uh, when he hit us. So they're all, golly, what happened? I was unhappy. Unhappy, why, what What happened there? I don't know. How? Second restart. Oh, when you, when you can't. Let me put an old one on. <laughs> what did you do, come up on him a little bit? I was pretty pissed. I ain't never seen you that pissed. You came, you came around there and I was like, oh God, what is he fixing to do? Cause you don't ever act like that. You're usually calm, collective. You wasn't even like that when you were, when you got spun out for the lead and came back and won that night. You wasn't like that. I was pretty hot. I about drove it off turn three and four. <laughs> that was when I was like, oh, down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you did. I thought you were gonna spit it out. I'm like, dang, you just got spun out. Don't spin yourself out. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Let, let's put that behind us. Uh, apologies have been made. That at yeah. least that he at least come, he's man enough to come do he that. He did come over here and talk to me, so I appreciate that. That's all. Uh, I may not have made that clear to him because I was still hot, but if he sees this, or I'll go over and talk to him in a little bit. When you calm down, you, he, yeah. talk, he came and talked to you right when you were getting yeah. out of the car. You were yeah. still pissed. I do appreciate that. So that that means a lot. Right. We start start four on a one lane racetrack. I tried to stop a couple of times and they wouldn't. Nothing there. There was nothing there. So I just, after that, just got in the bottom and rode. I'm hoping, 
maybe these supercars and these great cars go use the moisture up and we can get up top and race a little bit but it ain't looking good right now but, but the, generally the moral of the story with crates and supers is they're bottom feeders every one of them that's what i'm saying that maybe they can use the moisture up so, uh, and we're i mean it's a very good possibility we're pretty much last other than hot shots yeah and that, the only thing that scares me there is it may take rough yeah I hope it don't take rubber, but I bet it will with all those cars. I mean, Hopefully if it takes not. rubber, it ain't gonna be no different than what it is right now. So, right. Uh, we'll just see. We'll have to wait and see, and we'll make a couple adjustments here and get a little bit better. Uh, we could have used a little bit more there in the, in the heat race, and uh, so we'll we'll get it took care of. We'll get it one, straightened out. One thing I, I, I kind of talked about in there a while ago was Joel mentioned. I completely forgot about that comment. Somebody said, why do y'all keep going back if y'all hate it? And I kind of said, I told them, we don't hate it. There's things about every racetrack that you're not going to agree with. I think Adam is doing a great job, oh, and I, he's trying. I agree Adam's doing a great job. There, there's no doubt about that. This is his first full year owning the track, so, I mean, he's still trying to figure it out. He's ran a series, but not a racetrack. Right. I mean, Actually, he has ran a racetrack. It's been several years, though. I think... I think as a racer, you're going to grab and complain about anything. That's what I, I said. That's just all there is to it. And you can give us a golden brick and it could have been bigger. Because, like I said, physically and emotionally racing is exhausting. So, you know, part of it. I mean, that's just... I think that's what makes this type of racing a whole lot different than what's across the street. Yeah. Is There's no personalities over there. You can't have any personalities. If you have personalities, you get fined for it and crap. I mean, sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. It's what it is. So that's it. If we can go to any racetrack any night, and you're going to have a complaint about every racetrack. No racetrack's perfect. So I just kind of wanted to, you to kind of reiterate the yeah. same thing I said. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, we never mean anything toward Adam. It's just kind of right. how the cookie like crumbles said, sometimes. Adam's, Adam's trying. That's the main thing. You can, you can see that he's trying. And he did up the pay for us when he took over the racetrack. Yeah. So... Like I said, uh, this was not going to be an overnight process. Mm -hmm. Not a not an over month process. Right. right. I mean, it's going to be a, a year or two. But you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is, when we grab or, when we grab or complain, there's things that we'd be like, you know, why hadn't we already fixed this, or, or why don't we do better here? But Nobody might know that's their problem unless you voice your opinion. So. Anyway. What? Are you are you struggling, Chris? Oh man. Chris is getting the poles on. This is gonna hold the tires. And then he's getting this little plate back here on. That holds the jack. So this is, they're gonna have everything on the four-wheeler and go to the infield for a hot pit, just in case the need arises tonight. So, watch us in action. Yeah. I'm scared.
car back yet. He was uh, stuck in the infield. They were just checking heads. Brad came from fourth to second. He was the only car out there passing. He looked great. If we had just had a front row start spot, we might have had different results. But it's the luck of the draw. We'll be okay. He still made forward progress on a track that was one lane right around the bottom. He made it happen somehow, but we're proud of him. We'll get a word with him in just a second. Crew looks like they're uh, happy. Here comes the driver. Brantley's on there with him. Six laps before I passed Burdett. What did? Come out of what did? That's probably what it is. What got off? The car. Is that when you just completely yeah. just stopped? Coming out too? Yeah. Yeah. It just cut off. Yeah, I literally I mean, thought it, you was something was wrong. It cut off. Well, I mean something was wrong. It cut off that quick, right there. Yeah. It just cut off. I put my foot back to gas and it. I mean, gauges and all shut off, like electrical issue. Some kind of Is short somewhere. I just want to stop. Yeah, but I mean, you look high. All right, guys, so going through, checking nuts and bolts, taking the tires off. These tires are going to go home with us so we can wash them in the morning. Um, Got to check nuts and bolts before we leave. Got a lot of work to do before we can leave, and it is... 1236 not as bad as I thought it would be so um, anyway we got a lot of work to do right here and I'll show that of course and then we will be back here at Talladega Short Track tomorrow night uh, tomorrow night I don't know I don't know what to I was thinking of I need to go get that be right back all right but anyway I thought I had to go get it Andrew's already gone to get it so Um, you heard him talking a while ago. He said the car just completely cut off going down or coming out of two, going down the back straightaway. And then he put his foot in the gas and it went like it never missed a beat. So Chris and Brandon are fixing to start trying to chase an electrical problem. Thankfully it wasn't too bad of an electrical problem, but it really needs to be fixed before it does become one. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll cut it off for a second. I need a Mountain Dew. It's light, it's getting delirious. Alright, never mind. We don't have one in the cooler. Most of our, most teams are going to their coolers for beers right now. We're going to coolers for Mountain Dew and Coke. One thing you won't see on our team is drinking. Not that we're really against it, we just choose not to do it. Chris, what do you think it is? Master electrician. Unless it's that disconnect background. Have we ever replaced that disconnect? Yeah. yeah. We've replaced that disconnect, haven't we? Or was that on the other car? Make sure you don't mess with none of our computer stuff. We done lost the boat. Got a ribbon or something. Do you, do you hear me? What? Make sure you don't like mess with none of our computer stuff under yeah, there. I know it. We that USB port. It's kind of loose. I don't like that here. You don't the think that could have done it? Second one from the top. This. Second one from the top. All right, so they're going through everything. I can't show you that. That's that's our secret ingredients in that book there. They're going through everything, seeing where they were in the feature or where we were. All right, like I'm not included in this. Um, seeing where we were in the feature, just so we know as far as shock settings and all of that, where it was and where, where it was good in the rubber. <clears throat> it is freezing. It is. God, it, and it just happened in like the last 30 minutes. I know. 
<laughs> you didn't bring any pants, did you, babe? Are those the heat race tires that he put on earlier? Uh, don't know. I assume. Is this the tires that are supposed to go on there? Okay. Hey, Andrew. Yeah. Did I happen to tell you what we're going to do tomorrow? If we're going to get qualified or anything? I didn't think that. They probably don't know anything. No, they ain't got a clue. It's pay out. They didn't even have the money. The lady was waiting on them to bring it still. Uh -huh. Sometimes they're really quick about bringing it. Sometimes they, they're really terrible about bringing it. Let's drag it out. Yeah. Miranda's been out here shaking it for us. He got a new haircut and it's made him feel a little bit on the sassy side. Ashley is real excited about this new haircut. I am not. Ashley likes rubbing on me. Now she can't wait for him to get some handlebar mustaches. She acts like it's his pet squirrel. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's being a damn idiot. Brandon said the winnie. He's trying to go back in. It's going back Brandon, in. Brandon, you need another dog. Well, I'm trying to find a winnie dog. Well, that's one over there, ain't it? There yeah, one. but that was not Why first. are you trying to find a winnie dog? You already got a fake winnie dog. There was one there here earlier. Right, she on. thinks she's a winnie dog. Oh, she was friend. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do a video with Joel? With Joel? No. Why not? I just have it. Raise him. Raise him busy. Alright, come on. Alright, let's, All right, let's do a video. Alright, we're, we're tired. Okay. So, how did the car feel? What did you think in the feature? I don't really remember how we talked about it. Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, we did. Because I talked about what went on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, we was, uh, we was good. We made some adjustments for the feature and the car went in the right direction. Uh, it sucks. I mean, the track was terrible. I mean, it was rubbered up one lane like we knew it was going to be. And Which is why we really don't like yeah, racing. Yeah, I mean, that's 100% that's why I do not like racing this weekend. <laughs> that's 100% the reason I do not like racing this weekend, but, you know, it's really hard for it not to be though. Hey, leave that out, Andrew. We gotta get some. With as many cars as there is, I'm not saying that it's not hard. Not, it, it, you can make it to where it's going, but it's understandable with this many cars. They had 140. Oh, yeah. I mean, I it's hard up. Yeah. And like, like I said earlier, nothing we say is really triggered at the racetrack. I mean, it's just, it's just some. I don't power. know. You know. Seems like. When you go to tracks that have a hard rear tire rule, you don't have this problem. I, I'm not saying that would be the cure. I'm not saying that would fix it, but you know, you, it makes you think about it. Yeah, which it, that a hard rear tire rule would be very good for here because this place is hard on tires usually. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, and like I said, I mean, if it's so hard that it can't lay the rubber down, you're not gonna have a rubbered up racetrack. Right. But when everybody goes out on 1350s. You know, that, that's what's crazy, though. I mean, the... Maggie wants to be in a video. Hey, Tom girl. Hi. Hey, Tom, hi. T-shirts. Get your T-shirt. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. <laughs> Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. Let's go. Let's get done so we can go home. Okay. You tell me the video. Get in the video. Get no, I want you just in the video. So, but yeah, that's what's crazy. I mean, it was... In the heat race, it was there was so much moisture in the bottom you couldn't get out of the bottom, and then in the feature, it was so dry you just had to stay in the rubber. So, I mean, it was just just one of those nights. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, we came out with a good point tonight. Hey, baby. We still we gained some grounds on the points, and I mean that's what we're looking to try to do tomorrow night's thousand to win for us. So maybe with it being a big paying race, we get to qualify tomorrow night. 
If not, Brantley's, Brantley's drawing. I'm okay. not drawing anymore. I'm that, fired. I'm work. firing myself. That'll work. But anyway. You're up, bud. Oh. You're up. Your time to shine, Hot Rod. You got to draw for us tomorrow look if at, we have to draw. Look at all them autographs you got tonight. Look at all them autographs. Look at this right here, though. Good God, you're breaking the head. Look at that right there. See that name right there? Look who it's right beside. Brandon Overton. That's probably the only time my name's ever said Brandon Overton, but it's there. <laughs> Don't be a Debbie Downer. It may be one day. Well, maybe. But anyways, uh, car ran good though. Other than that one little hiccup there coming down the back straight, well, I don't know what happened there. But, uh, thanks to everyone who helped us out. Wendell Benson, Benson Race Engines, uh, Warp Speed Performance, KT Heat and Air, Outer Vision Roof and Exterior, Penske Shocks, Brand Transmission. Barry Apparel. There's no sticker of that. that it's about to be. Uh, Barry Apparel Company, my mom set up the grandstands tonight. She'll be up here again tomorrow night selling all of our t-shirts, apparel that uh, Dallas <laughs> has made or myself has made. And so I think we had a pretty good night up there. We sold a lot of hats and t-shirts, so that's that's what it's about. And, you know, every little piece of apparel that gets sold goes right back into this. So that, that's, that's what helps us out. Thanks to everyone who watches on YouTube. Thanks to everyone who joined our Patreon and helped support us there. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment. And uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow night back here at Tyler Short Track. Maybe we can finish one spot better. We've still only finished first or second, so I can't complain too bad. But I know that I was kind of, during the race, you were running fourth, and I'm like, dang, this is going to be our one time outside of the top two. And yeah, then you started picking well, them off. I guess off. I need to talk about that. I mean, we... We got up to third, and I mean, we had to ride. I mean, I tried to go around that Burdett on the outside, and every time I do it, it just push up. Well, then I. Well, let me pause you for a second on that. On the beginning of the race, that's what I said. You know, y'all were starting right next to each other, and there was a whole lot of respect there. So oh, yeah. there was no, there was not going to be any dirty racing. Yeah, no, no. And Burdett actually told me he's like, "You should have bumped me, and I'd have got out of your way." And I'm like, "Man, I ain't doing that." So, you know, I mean, uh, anyways. Uh, I tried it on the outside a couple times and it just pushed straight up the track. So there, once or twice, I just drove it in our balls to the wall on the cushion and uh, I could clearly see that I lost ground. So I just stayed in the bottom and, and kept trying to work about a half a car length up from what he was running. Yep. <laughs> about a half a car length up from what he was running and uh, I think he said he started pushing a little bit. So He definitely started uh, pushing. You know, with about three to go, I was able to get around him and got second so we'll take it would have rather won but we'll take it come back tomorrow and try again it was a really really good points not tonight yeah so anyways put a little bit more of a gap on let's them. get loaded up go home get warm take a shower crap crap shower and shave. <laughs> all right guys so you heard it from brad we uh we'll be back down here tomorrow night for night two of NASCAR weekend, it's a thousand to win for us tomorrow. Hopefully we hot lap qualify or qualify at least something other than heat racing. Um, but we'll see how everything goes tomorrow. We hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, oh, my voice. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you guys think. We'll catch you tomorrow.